Good evening. <clears throat> Good evening, Sandra, Natalie. Good evening, Karen. Welcome. Welcome to the class number 14. How was your day? How was your Friday today? Welcome, Evelyn. Welcome, Isabel. How was your Friday? Hmm. Can you hear me? Si me escuchan. Sandra, tiene mute. Evelyn. Sí, le escucho. Solo que estoy cenando. <ríe> Por eso he quitado la cámara. <ríe> ah, ok. Bueno. <ríe> ok, I will give you some minutes. It's ok. Uh, welcome everyone. Welcome. Um, this is the class number 14. So let me share my screen. Okay. Here is my screen. Thank you so much for being here, for being on time. I guess, yes, it is. Good evening. I come Good back. Evening. Good evening, Robert. Welcome back. I'm sorry, but yesterday I don't came uh, stay, stay in class, but I I practice my English with familiar. Okay, good. Congratulations. That is good. Okay, that is what we need to do. Okay, today is June 16, 2023. Well, tomorrow is Father's Day. Congratulations. If you are a father, you no. are the only man here. <laughs> Not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, well, maybe in the future. Okay. So, let me see. Today, agenda. We're going to have a lesson objective. We're going to continue studying in present continuous for temporary situations. We have a written practice. We have to write a paragraph at the end and we have conversations to practice too. Okay, at the end of this class, okay, at the end of the class, you will be able to uh, practice simple present for temporary situation, okay? That is the main lesson objective. Okay, let me see. Uh, do we have a activity here? We're going to say what they are doing according to the picture. Okay. What is she doing? She's buying. She's buying at the supermarket, right? Okay, correct. No. 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 Sandra, what are they doing? Hi, teacher. Hoy sí, me escucha. Sí. Este, es que con mi celular tenía problemas para ingresar al auto. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. What are they doing, Sandra? Dígame. Eh... What are they doing? Mm -hmm. What are they doing? That is my question. Mm -hmm. 
Correct. Mm, no, no, no. But you will tell me what are they doing according to what can you see in the picture? No, no le entiendo. Dígame. Usted me va a responder la qué están haciendo ellos, ¿ok? No me va a decir correct o incorrect. Yo voy, voy, ah. voy a evaluar si está correcto o incorrecto lo que usted me diga. What are they doing in the according to the picture? No sé cómo se dice andar en bicicleta. Cycling. 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 Mm -hmm. sí. They are cycling. Or they, sí. or they are riding a bike. Right? In the park. <clears throat> Uh-huh. Riding. Riding. A bike. Okay, in the park. Riding a park in the park. Riding a bike. A bike. In the park. In the park. Uh-huh. Okay, that will be correct. What is he doing? He's swimming. He is swimming, swimming. in a pool. Right? Right. Very good, correct. What is she doing? Yeah, she is. Uh-huh. What is she doing, Evelyn? She is eating. She is eating. Maybe it's her breakfast, right? Okay, good. That is correct. Okay, I did. What are they doing? She's the party. <laughs> uh huh. What are they doing? Party. I'm sorry. She is the party. No, drinking. they are drinking. <laughs> drinking beer. Beer. Drinking beer. 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 They are drinking beer. Beer. They are drinking beer. Beer. Yes. Correct. That is correct. Okay. What are they doing? They are running. They are running. Okay, good job. What is he doing? Judith? What is he doing? Como se dice cantar. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice cantar en inglés? Singing. Sing. Uh, he is a singer. No, ah, he is. He is singing. 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 Uh -huh. singing. Very good. Brenda, are you there? Brenda, welcome. Welcome back. Welcome to the class. What is she doing? Uh -huh. What is she doing? Participate, guys. Janira, Isabel. Listening. She is listening, she is listening. to music. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Good job. 
Isabel. They are cooking. They are cooking. They are cooking. They are cooking. Okay. Very good. Recording in progress. What are they doing? They are mm -hmm. reading. reading. They are reading. Very good job. Okay. Janita, what about what about her? What is she doing? She's piano. She is playing. Playing the piano. 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 Okay, she's playing the piano. Very good. Good job. Playing piano. What is he doing? Aha, uh -huh. Aide, Judith, Brenda. Or maybe Brenda is is oh, she's in the bus. Uh huh. She is. He is. He is a student. No, but using using the the. She is doing. She, I mean, he is studying, uh -huh, or he is doing his home, right? Okay, let me see what else. What is he doing now? Uh -huh. Evelyn, what is he doing? He is picturing. Painting? painting. He's painting. She's painting. He is painting. He is painting. He is painting. An image or picture. Okay, let me see. Correct. What is she doing? No, I guess we are How you can say? Sometimes. She is enjoying the nature, for example. Está disfrutando la naturaleza. Uh -huh. She is having fun. Está divirtiendo. Jumping. Is jumping. She is jumping. Okay. Mm. Good. She happiness. She is having happiness. Okay, what is he doing? He is sleeping. He is sleeping. sleeping. Very good. Good job. What are they doing? They are yeah. eating. They are eating breakfast, maybe. Taking, uh -huh. taking breakfast. They are taking breakfast too, or they are they are they are having breakfast. Okay, what about her? What what are they doing? She is playing the. the tennis. Tennis. Mm -hmm. I guess it's tennis. They um, are playing tennis. Playing tennis. Okay. okay. What is he doing? He is watching TV. Watching TV. He is watching TV. Yes, television. Okay, good job. What are they doing? They are playing. They are playing. 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 Video games. Okay, very good. They're playing video games. 
Good job. What are they doing? They are, they are dancing. 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 Yes, they are dancing. Good job. What is he doing? He is crying. He is crying. Stop. He is crying, yes. <laughs> right. Okay. How, what is she doing? She she walking with the dog. Uh -huh. She is walking with the dog. Okay, good job. Okay, good job. All of them are correct. Okay. So good examples. Marco. Okay. Can you see it? Está bien. Pueden leer eso? Okay, here we have present continuous for temporary situations. Okay, there are different situations where we can apply present continuous. Take note if that is if you consider this information is important for you. Okay. Unfinished actions now. Okay. Algo, una acción que no ha terminado, que está en, eh, en proceso todavía. I'm working at the moment. Okay. Ese es un ejemplo. We use with now or at the moment. Okay. You can say I'm working now or I'm working at the moment. Okay. Algo que yo estoy haciendo todavía, pero que no he terminado de hacer. Okay. Temporary situations. Okay. Now, temporary situations. For example, I'm living in London. Okay. Estoy viviendo en London. Okay. But just for, just probably for one month. Okay. Use with at the moment for a few weeks or for a couple of months. Okay, that means temporary situations. We're going to use these phrases at the moment for a few weeks, for a couple of months. Okay, and living in London for a few weeks. Okay, temporary situations. Okay, situaciones temporales. Another way to use a uh, present continuous is. Uh, for temporary habit, for example, she is eating a lot, of, a lot these days. Okay, está comiendo más de lo normal estos días. Es un temporary habit. Okay, she is eating a lot these days. Used with at the moment or these days. Okay, uh, annoying habit. So do you know what is annoy? Annoying. ¿Saben qué es Anoy? Uh -huh. Como algo molesto, ¿ok? Algo que te hace molestar. That is annoying. Okay. You are forever losing your keys. ¿Ok? Siempre estás perdiendo las llaves, ¿ok? Use with always, forever, or constantly. ¿Ok? You can use um, frequency adverbs plus the verb ing, okay? You are forever losing your keys, okay? Está siempre per per las llaves. That is an annoying habit, okay? But what I want that you pay attention because we're going to, we're going to practice more is about temporary situations that are like we're going to use at the moment or a few weeks or for a couple of couple of months okay do you have questions about that pregunta de eso hi brenda hi teacher sorry que vengo llegando it's okay don't worry ¿Cuánto tiempo toma su bus? 
to take you home? Mm, en realidad no vengo del trabajo, vengo de otra actividad, pero que también, mm. <laughs> que también me demanda correr. Okay, okay. It's okay, no problem. Yes. Um, do you have questions when we're going to use present continuous for temporary situations? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Annoying. Uh, what is the meaning yeah. of annoying? What, yes, what is the meaning? Oh, annoying es algo que no, no, le, no es como muy agradable, ¿ok? Algo que no nos gusta. That is annoying. Mm -hmm. Hábitos no agradables. Mm -hmm. Algo que nos molesta. That is annoying. Y en la uh, temporary habit, you can, me saltó de la clase y no entendí muy bien ahorita que entré. Ah, los temporary habits son como hábitos que usted adopta, pero no se queda con ellos por mucho tiempo. Por ejemplo, hay semanas que usted come, come de más, come demasiado, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Entonces, es un hábito que usted tiene que dejar porque si lo sigue así, le va a hacer daño. Entonces, that is a temporary habit. In my case. In your case. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I am a lot. And eating a lot yeah. these days, okay? These days, uh, especifica estos días, porque usted va a dejar de comer así como está comiendo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. He's eating a lot these days. Por eso siempre mencionamos now, que es por el momento, at the moment, que significa lo mismo, ¿verdad? En el momento, aquí en unfinished actions, in temporary situations, también podemos decir at the moment, porque sabemos que no va a ser todo, todo el tiempo, solo por ese tiempo. For a few weeks, estamos especificando que solo por unas semanas. For a couple of months, estamos especificando que por unos meses. You can say also a uh, few days, especifica que solo será por unos días. Okay? Temporary habit to que es un hábito que usted va a dejar. I'm eating a lot these days. You can use at the moment or you can use these days. Or this week. Okay, pero especifica el tiempo. That is temporary. Sorry? Okay. Um, if you don't have more questions, we're going to continue. But before, let me take the attendance, okay? Let me take the attendance here. Astrid? Present. Thank you, Astrid. Aide? Present. Brenda? Present. Okay. Present. Selina? Present. Diana Carolina? Present. Diana está de oyente. Ok. Uh, Evelyn del Carmen. Present. Griselda también me dijo que va a estar de oyente. Isabel Rocío. Present. Ok. Karen Patricia. Present, teacher. Luis Américo. Ya no se conectó Luis. Manuel tampoco. Natalie me dijo que va a estar de oyente. Robert. Present. Sandra. <coughs> Sandra. Present teacher. Ok. Wendy. Judith. Present teacher. Xiomara. Present teacher. En Janira. Janira. No 
Okay, well, uh, thank you so much for your attendance. Okay, thank you so much for being here. We're going to continue. I have a pre uh, present continuous conversation for temporary situation, okay? I'm going to read it for you, and then you are going to read it for me. Okay, it is between Ever and Beth. Ever says, hi, Beth, long time no see you. How are you? And Beth says, hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? Okay, look at this, these days, okay? That is temporary, okay? Le está preguntando estos días en específico, okay? I am okay. Well, I'm working on a new project and also I'm taking English uh, course these days, okay? Lo que está haciendo él estos días, okay? How about you? That sounds great. What, what a coincidence. And also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. Okay, these days. I know a colleague who complete who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. Okay. Is 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 taking a training, right? These days. Ahí especifica está tomando un training estos días. Okay. You are right, and studying on my own, you know, and reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I'm doing listening exercises. They help you, they help a lot, okay? They help a lot. Okay, they are, they are studying, okay, on their own. That means that they, ellos están estudiando por su cuenta también. Now I ask you, do you study by your aunt? What do you do in your house? Aparte de, la clase. Aparte de la clase, what else do you do to, to study English? Mm -hmm. A ver, ¿quién, ¿quién? Dígame qué técnica utiliza. Uh -huh. ¿Qué técnica utilicen para aprender? Para mejorar el idioma. Yo estoy escuchando canciones en inglés. Ok, good. Canciones en inglés. That is good. What Tratando else? Tratando de, de escribir. Writing. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm. Yo, no, ah, yo, consumo, yo consumo todo lo que pueda en inglés, ya sea música, lectura, eh, cualquier tipo de contenido. Y, y sigo a algunos coaches en, en Instagram. Ok, that is good. I saw your messages. That is good. Ah, yeah. that, that is good too. That is an, a good... Um, a strategy okay to to improve your english skills okay what else who else quien mas teacher uh -huh. um, frases algo largas me han recomendado que es bueno okay good. but do you do you study with that si estudia Mm, sí. Okay, good. I mean, you can learn phrases um, because there are some special phrases that they have a meaning in English, right? The Only if you know the phrase, you know what is the meaning, okay? Algunas frases que no tienen significado así literal, no lo pueden traducir porque es una frase que ya es en inglés. Como nosotros tenemos algunas frases también uh, en español que nosotros sabemos el significado, ¿verdad? Y sí. tal vez en otro idioma nadie lo va a entender. So that is the way also that all the languages, todos los idiomas funcionan, ¿ok? Ok. 
Uh, Aide, what about you? What What are the strategies that you use to to study English? Yes. Aparte de la clase, what else do you do in your house? Um, estudio los domingos. Where do you study? At home? Estudio se solita, or are you taking another course? Um, trato la manera de de estudiar todos los días y los domingos voy a un cierto lugar. Oh, that is good. Good job. Okay, one strategy that you can do, una que les sugiero, cuando yo estaba iniciando lo hacía, es uh -huh. ponerle nombre a, todos los, a todas las cosas que están en su casa. Ok, en eh, uh -huh. inglés. Ajá, so you can write the names in, on each object. En todos los objetos ustedes pueden escribirle un nombre con un papelito. So that help you. To, to memorize, okay? um, to memorize uh, the names of the items. Le, sí, claro. le ayuda mucho a aprender vocabulario. Aprender vocabulario. Teacher, otra pregunta. Uh -huh. eh, hay que encontrar una palabra, eh, me, 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 es un rompecabezas lo que le quiero decir, de que a veces eh, quiero encontrar una palabra y dice la frase, ¿verdad? O la palabra. En, mm. en el doctor, pero ya he encontrado ya en, en frase, ya es otra, o sea, es bien un poco confuso. ¿Qué es bueno mejor, por palabra o por, o por frase? Ambos. Hay palabras, ah. hay palabras que tienen diferente significado dependiendo del contexto, mm -hmm. dependiendo del contexto que lo va a aplicar. Entonces usted puede... Si usted tiene como un, um, tiene una libreta donde usted está escribiendo todas las new words, ¿ok? Porque eso también le funciona, que usted lleve su propia libreta y escriba new vocabulary. Ok, sí, sí. todo el vocabulario que usted aprende en un día lo puede ir escribiendo. So you mm -hmm. can write the, the, the word, la palabra, and also sentences, ¿ok? También oraciones. Aplicando la palabra. Okay. It, that help you a lot. Because you know how to apply that word. Okay? Okay. Gracias. Good okay, good job. Who wants to read the conversation? Raise your hands. Okay, Robert. Good job. I like it. Okay, me gusta que estén disponibles. Who else? ¿Quién más? A ver, ¿quién más? ¿Quién quiere participar con Robert? Robert will be ever. Who wants to be Beth? Brenda. Okay, Brenda. Thank you so much. Okay, go ahead. Robert, you will start here. Okay. <clears throat> I read long time, no see. Oh, I worry. Hello, ever. What are you doing these days? I'm okay. Well, I am working on the new project. And also, I am checking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. And also taking an English course, English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading now at least to help with the results. Great. Well, I'm doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Okay. Hey. Yes. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Better results. Repeat that, Brenda. Better results. 
Very philosophical. Uh -huh. Okay, also please repeat. Is essential at the workplace these days? Is essential. Repeat, teacher. Repeat. Is essential. Is essential at the workplace this this day? These days. Uh huh. Voy a mutear mi compu porque viene una procesión y no voy a oír nada y van a oír mucha voz ustedes. <risa> ok. Se escucha a lo lejos, viene todavía a lejos, pero ya viene cerca. No, no se escucha nada. Yo creo que algunas computadoras traen como, como disminución de, soni de sonido, Ajá, de como el exterior. Algunas, porque no todas. A veces no se escucha nada. Ok. Who wants to participate? Reading the conversation. Isabel, thank you. I know. I Who know else? Who complete? Who's is thinking? Evelyn. Thank you, Evelyn. Ok. Isabel, you will be ever and Evelyn will be Beth. Go ahead. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Evan. What are you doing this day? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English school. English is essential at the workplace this day. I know. A, a colleague who complete, complete the course is taking a training in England this day. You are right. I am studying on my own, you know. I am reading novels to have better results. Well, well, I am doing this exercise. They help a lot. Okay. Course. Repeat that. Course. 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 Code. Okay, also repeat. Colleague. 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 Okay. That is important. You practice. Training. 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 Okay, training. 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 Uh -huh. training. Yes, try to practice by yourself. Okay, try to take note. Uh if you if you if you uh, feel that one word is difficult for you, take note and practice, okay? Practicing esa palabra. Coincidence. Coincidence. Repeat that. Coincidence. 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 Okay, good job. Who wants to read that again? Quien más? Yo, teacher. Ahí de, okay. Who else? Quien más? Me, teacher. Judith. Yes. Okay, hey, then Judith. Thank you. Go ahead. Hi, Beth. Long time. No How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing this day? I am okay. Well, I am working on the new project and also I am taking an English course these days. How about you? 
that song great what a consonant i am also taking an english course english is essence at the workplace this 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 day no i i think complete is king a king in in english taste days you are right i am sunny on my own you know i am ready now to have a better result great well I am doing listening to your exercise. They have a lot. Okay, exercises. Listening exercises. Exercises. Ajá, uh -huh. como plural, okay? Exercises es singular, pero exercises es plural, okay? Okay. Repeat better results. Very Mm -hmm. Better results. Very. Okay. On my own. On my. On my own. On my own. On my own. Okay. Uh, these days. These days. Colleague. 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 Uh -huh. English course. English course. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Uh, let me see you. the other other word that you made. Essential. Okay. Essential. 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 Mm -hmm. Essential. Essential. Okay. Essential. Essential. Okay. Essential. Good. Let me see. Uh, good job here. Do you have questions about vocabulary? Tienen preguntas de vocabulario? Oh no. Oh, oh, mm, 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 mm. Oh, oh, no. No. Training, teacher. Training. Ah, training. Training. Entrenamiento. Ah. Training. Workplace. Workplace. Workplace is the is the place, the lugar where you work. Oh, Colleague. Yes. Colleague is mm -hmm. your coworker, su compañero de trabajo. Okay, your colleague, mm -hmm. colega. <laughs> ¿Cuál es? ¿Cómo es lo que significa workplace? Workplace is the place where you work. For example, uh, the factory, uh -huh, that is the, the workplace. ¿Dónde usted trabaja? That el, is lugar, el lugar donde trabajamos. El lugar de la. Ajá. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Co-workers here, right? Co-workers. It's the same like colleagues. Mm -hmm. What else? Do you have another question regarding this conversation? Donde dice on my own. own. On my own. Uh -huh. um. Okay, por mí, so, o sea, por mi propio, um, como ritmo, ok, solo, o sea, sin ninguna, sin ningún curso, sino que es como el solo, ok, y el solo, ¿qué hace él? Estudia, bueno, ella, perdón, Beth, uh -huh. lee novelas, ok, uh -huh. sí. es algo que no le dejan, no le dejan tarea, que lo haga, pero ella lo hace. Ah, okay. Para tener mejores resultados. ¿Quieren que bueno. les deje un libro a ustedes? 
Bueno, pero... Si, si iniciamos el otro, el otro curso juntos, les voy a dejar un libro de, desde el inicio, ¿ok? Para que lo lean. Corto, bonito, <ríe> que les guste. ¿Ok? Que no sea romántico, por favor. Ok, que no sea romántico. Ok. We're going to discuss one chapter uh, every week. Ajá, uh -huh, algo así. Ok. Good, we're going to continue. How to use present continuous for temporary situations. Okay, use the present continuous for temporary situations, the expressions, okay, like these days, lo que estábamos hablando antes, okay, these days, at the moment, I often used to emphasize the temporary aspect of the activity. Okay, these days, at the moment, son las, son las frases que nos no dan a entender que es temporal, okay? For example, we have here, I'm reading a new book these days, okay? No para siempre voy a estar leyendo ese libro, lo voy a leer estos días, okay? I'm reading a new book these days. This is a temporary activity because the person will finish reading the book, okay? Wendy is having a meeting at this moment, okay? The meeting will finish sooner or later. How long a meeting can take? Probably 15 minutes, probably one hour or two hours, okay? But that will be just for a moment, okay? We are taking English course. The course will end. Uh -huh. We're taking this English course. It take one month, right? Four weeks. So that means that it's a temporary situation. So we can say we are taking an English course. Okay. Do you have questions about this? Yeah, I am reading a new book. No? Yes or no? It's like Okay, good. So, if you don't have questions, we're going to move on. Vamos a movernos. And now we have exercises. Okay, we're going to write, okay, writing exercises. Write, write a six-line paragraph for a temporary event at your work. Okay, vamos a escribir seis, por, seis líneas o seis oraciones en un párrafo que expresen temporary events, ¿ok? Eventos temporales at your workplace en su trabajo. I'm going to send to you a link. I have a link. Let me see. What is the link? Nos puede mandar el WhatsApp de lo que, del cuadro anterior. Ok, ahorita. Please. Let's see. Okay, this is the link. Para que ahí van a entrar para que me escriban el párrafo. So what do you want? This? Eso es lo que quiere, ¿verdad? No. ¿No es este? No, el anterior. Ajá, este, este. Sí, este. Este. Sí, yes. Okay, I send the link to you. Ya les, ya les envié el link también donde van a entrar para que me escriban el párrafo, ¿ok? Sí, che, tiene que ser solo del trabajo. Mm. Ok, sí. bueno, quizás no, ustedes sienten que no tienen mucho que escribir del trabajo. Eh, pueden hacer tres del trabajo y tres de su casa. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I will give you 10 minutes to write this paragraph, okay? 10 minutos. If you need help, si necesitan ayuda, me pueden decir, okay? I will be here. Teacher, ¿qué es lo que íbamos a hacer? Es que tengo problemas con el Inter y me sacó de la clase otra vez. Ok, les mandé un link y les mandé la imagen. Van a hacer un párrafo de seis oraciones, ok, seis líneas, que describan temporary events, ok, eventos temporales que ustedes están haciendo en estos días. No van a hacerlos para siempre. Son eventos temporales. Ajá. For example, tres you can say three examples that, that you will do in your in your in your workplace, okay? And three that you are going to do in your house, okay? Aquí tenemos los ejemplos que les mandé en la imagen. For example, it says I'm reading a new book these days, okay? Es algo que usted no va a hacer para siempre, pero lo está haciendo estos días, okay? We are taking an English course. Uh, también, you are taking this, this English course, okay? Level two this month. It is temporary situation. It's not forever, okay? <clears throat> it's okay. If you have questions, please let me know. I will be here. Voy a estar acá, okay? If you have questions, just let me know. Uh, teacher, what is uh, pila or pileta? Pila para, tom para guardar agua, como. Sí, sí. Es que yo, yo lo he encontrado, pero por zinc. Eh, S-I-N-K. Es correcto. S-I-N-K. Uh -huh. Mm, no, pero ese es un lavamanos. Solo para lavarse mm. las manos. Así como mm. un lavamanos, o sea, o yeah. donde lava los trastes. Mm. Pero no, no contiene agua. Let me see. Uh... Let me find the word, okay? Okay. Teacher, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Es que tengo problemas con el Inter y me sacó de la clase otra vez. Eh, estamos escribiendo un párrafo. Mm -hmm. seis, seis líneas, seis oraciones. Que describan temporary events, okay? Eventos temporales que usted está haciendo en casa o en su trabajo. Mitad y mitad. Ok, puede ser tres y tres. ¿Y se los vamos a enviar al chat? No. Ahí les envío un link donde me lo van a publicar. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Una, una, una pregunta. 
teacher, eh, del screen que nos mandó, lo que está en paréntesis, es la, 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 el ejemplo en sí, o lo que está antes del 1. Eh, lo que les mandé en la imagen. Uh -huh. El ejemplo así, similares a esos, similares a esas oraciones. Al uno, okay, dos, tres. Pero yo pregunto, yo pregunto, o sea, el ejemplo es, I am reading a new book this day. Es this la, la parte que vamos a ocupar, pero lo que está entre paréntesis es lo que significa o, o cómo, no entiendo. Sí, es lo que está, está describiendo. This temporary activity, this is a, actividad temporal, es porque la persona va a terminar de leer el libro. Ajá, está dando como una breve explicación. Ah, ok, ok. It's okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, to store water. Let's see. Pool to store water, I guess. That is the one. Let me see. Pool to store water. Let me look for examples. Uh -uh, no, no. Uh -uh. Okay, no, pero una pool va a ser una piscina para bañarse, una ajá, pero usted usted quiere una como agua, una pila, right? para almacenar agua, para hacer como mm. ¿qué? lavar. Sí. sí, sí, sí. Ajá. Let me look for another day. Um. It doesn't, no tiene una traducción. You can say pila, pila, ajá. Uh -huh. To store water, okay? Pila para alma, alma, a guardar agua. Pila to store water. Porque otra forma es como washing sink, pero los lavaderos para lavar, okay? We are speaking okay. about, let me tell you, this one is a washing thing. You see? Washing thing. Okay. Es un lavadero, pero de estas pequeñitas. And the other ones, they don't have like a translation, just say pila. No tienen una traducción estos. You can say pila, okay? Or you can say washing sink.
Recuerden que es un párrafo. Un párrafo de seis oraciones mínimo, ¿ok? Ay, yo las oraciones había hecho. Yo igual las oraciones estaba haciendo, Ticha. Sí, acuérdense cómo van a, cómo van a, a estructurar un párrafo. ¿Cómo lo van a estructurar? Lo van a estructurar uniendo las oraciones. Ustedes ya tienen las ideas, ya tienen las oraciones. Ahora vamos a unirlas en un par. Okay. Let, me, let me write an example for you. Okay. Le voy a escribir un ejemplo. Por ejemplo, pueden escribir primero su nombre. O oh, este es un ejemplo, ¿ok? No es que yo lo esté haciendo, ¿ok? That is an example, okay? Un ejemplo, nada más.
ओके 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 <clears throat> okay. Let me edit. I for the answer, what is My situation in this week. Okay. Aquí no es necesario escribirle to. Solamente each each week. Huh? I have to do different different WF different activities. For example. Mm -hmm. Mm, and making. Usted está haciendo eso, ¿verdad? Lo está haciendo. I am oh. making. Lo está haciendo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. I'm making. A washing. Si le va a escribir el apóstrofe, no les pone el A. I'm making oh. a washing. Think. This weekend. Punto. Aquí como es un fin de semana, es singular. This weekend. ¿Ok? ¿Lo hacen un fin de, o varios fines? Ok. En un no, fin de. ¿En un fin de o varios fines? En uno, en uno. En uno, ok. This weekend. Ok. Ok, luego, punto. These days, I am, aquí le falta, este, these days lo, lo podemos poner al final, ok. I am picking up the trash these days. Aquí lo podemos poner al final. These days, during the weekend. Weekends. Okay. Also, le podemos agregar un conector ahí también. Si le vamos a poner apóstrofe, le quitamos el A, solo el I'm. I'm going... I'm going to buy. Entonces, como ya lleva el going ahí, solo le dejamos al going. I'm going to buy the market. Ajá. Uh -huh. and, when, and when the next week, and when the next start to. Mm. No, este era con un número, nada más. Ah, era el número, este ok. Ok, eso creo que no, no ¿Cómo? es necesario. Lo dejamos sí. hasta ahí. Es que yo las oraciones tenía, pero como dijo que lo adoptáramos a un párrafo. Sí, adoptémoslo a un, par a un párrafo. Ok. Also going to buy the, the market this week. You can say this week. I'm having a meeting. A familiar meeting, okay? Familiar va antes de meeting. Familiar meeting. Ahí puede decir el día. On Thursday. Thursday. On Thursday. Okay. 
to have lunch. Van a tener lunch. Yeah. La familiar yes. meeting. Yes. Yes. I'm having a familiar meeting. I'm having a lunch. I'm having a lunch. Entonces no sería meeting, sino que, bueno, sería meeting también, pero sería I'm having a familiar lunch. And meeting. Ok, ambos. Yes. On Thursday. Ok. Borramos esto de acá. Ah, I'm going to sleep. Aquí ya no le agregamos ING a este verbo porque ya tenemos el primero, ¿ok? I'm going to sleep soon during the week. I'm going to sleep. Uh, pongámosle aquí seven hours per day por día during the week. Ok. I'm going to sleep seven hours per day during the week. Estamos dando como más información específica uh, para que sea más clara. Ok. I'm going to sleep seven hours per day during the during the week. This week. Podríamos ser más específicos esta semana. Ok. Thank you. Oh, le voy a poner su nombre. Robert. Thank you, Robert. Ok, Griselda. Let me see, Griselda. <clears throat> I'm reading a book. Huh. I love to read books about psychology. Ok. And I'm taking an English course. So I'm in a basic level two. Okay. So I'm watching a new series. In my job, I'm learning to use a new application. And I'm checking new bra styles. Also, I'm training a new team. Wow. Okay. Good job, Griselda. Muy bien. Ok, uh, let me see. Uh, Karen. Karen says, I'm Karen Ramirez. In my house, I'm studying English. Aquí le falta la H. For a year. I'm studying English for a year. I'm watching a series and I'm helping. I am helping my daughter. Daughter. Tiene una o más de una? Karen. Una. Una. Que sería sin la S. I'm helping my daughter with her. Porque son tareas de ellas, de ella, ok? With her over. Ajá. Uh -huh. I am going. Going to the beach with my family in vacation. Ok. In my vacations. We know that. That will be just temporary situations only for your vacations, okay? In my work or in my um, place, in my workplace, in my workplace, and I, I am having a meeting 
Okay, meeting, meeting. Mm -hmm. How you? How do you write meeting? Uh -huh. How do you spell meeting? Do you remember how do you spell meeting? M-E. M-E. C. M-E, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Having a meeting, okay, with my boss. On Monday. Every Monday, do you have a meeting? Cada lunes tiene una meeting, right? I'm having a meeting with my boss on Mondays, okay? Sabemos que so, todos los lunes tiene una meeting. I visit, I'm visiting my friends in other area. Uh, podemos poner acá, I'm visiting... I'm visiting my friends in other area on <clears throat> Friday afternoon. Okay, especificamos un tiempo, okay? In this case, you are visiting your friends in the other area on Friday afternoons. Fridays, afternoon. Y todos los viernes por la tarde usted va a ver sus amigos a otra área. Ok. Let me see. Good job. Here. Let me go to check this one. Diana. We are receiving a teamwork training. Ok. We carry out the documentation of cases of people with injuries at work. We are. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería ahí el verbo, Karen? Como dijo, teacher, no, no le escuché. Okay, we are care, carrying out a documentation of cases of people with injuries at work, at work, okay? These days, for example. Puede especificar que estos días, okay? In my house. Okay, puede ser acá, ajá. In my house, we are building some Mm, what do you mean with this? Mm -hmm. Where are you building that in your house? Hello, are you there? Karen? Teacher, ese no es mío, pero ahí escribieron que eran gradas de cemento. No, oh, Diana, perdón, Diana. Ajá. ¿Cómo, es, ¿Cómo haríamos aquí uh, un temporary situation? Sabemos que esto solo es por un temporary situation. In my house, we are building sun. Ajá. 
You can say cemento. Yo sé que es cemento, ¿ok? Pero you can agua. say concrete, concreto, concrete steps. In the living room. For example, living room area. Okay, ¿a dónde más puede ser? In the garden, in the yard, en el patio. Diana, ¿dónde la está construyendo? Diana. Ella dice en el patio. Okay, in my backyard. Okay. We are going to visit grandparents on weekends. Okay, that is good. And we do a cleaning. Mm, we are. We are doing a cleaning campaign in the neighborhood. Okay, we are doing a cleaning campaign in the neighborhood. That is okay. Thank you, Diana. Uh, we're going to check Selena. Selena says, my name is Selena. I'm, I'm not working these days. Uh-huh. I'm sewing in the machine. Mm, I am. Oh. I am no getting up early for uh -huh, for go working, she said. To go work to go at work. Oi. Okay. Punto. I'm not getting up early to go at work. Ajá, aquí que le falta? El verbo to be, okay? I am singing. I'm singing in the church. ¿Qué más le falta aquí? Ajá, el verbo to be. I'm cooking. Ajá, I'm cooking in the house. In my house. Ajá, en an shopping. No le dije shopping. I'm shopping on the weekend. Okay. Good. Thank you so much. Let me see what else. Brenda. Brenda. Several situations in my workplace. Okay, I'm working in the extra machine these days. Also, uh -huh, I am having having if, if, Difficult, okay, difficult or difficulties? Dif okay, the uh, difficulties or difficult? Difficulties. Okay, in that case will be difficulties. Okay. With, with ah. the extra machine. <laughs> With the extra machine, okay, at this moment. Es una, una máquina extra a la suya, yeah. mm -hmm. right? I'm taking all the resources for to be able to do my work these days. I'm taking all the resources. I, to be able, okay? Not necessarily for a key. To be able to do my work these days. 
Ok, aquí le ponemos punto. El I no es necesario aquí. Y le ponemos finally. Finally. Uh -huh. And waiting. Waiting. Okay. I'm waiting for the holidays. Estoy esperando por los días uh -huh, de vacaciones. And, and sleeping these days. Oh, to sleep. Para dormir. <laughs> to sleep these days. Ajá. Okay. Solo una, una apóstrofe. Uh, I am I am love at this moment in the house. Mm, I am enjoying, okay? Estoy disfrutando. Enjoying. Enjoying this moment in my house. Estoy disfrutando este momento en mi casa. Ok, Brenda. Ok, good job. You have the ideas, ok. Si tienen mucho las ideas, solo es de pulir un poco más. Ok, try to think how, how to organize your ideas y cómo... Eh, Mostrar sus ideas. Okay, Xiomara. My name is Xiomara. I'm doing extra, extra hours. Estoy haciendo extra hours at work. Ajá. Aquí no sé qué quiso poner, pero. Ajá. Y. Okay, eat, y le ponemos apóstrofe. It's very tired, cansado. Aquí lo estamos utilizando como, como un adjetivo, no como verbo. Ajá. I am, remember, remember. Present continuous. I am uh -huh, painting my kitchen on weekends. Aquí que quiere poner. ¿Qué quiere decir aquí? I am. I am almost done. Okay. I am almost done. Está pintando lo, la, la cocina el fin de semana y casi termina. Okay, I have been in English classes at night. Be careful with the spelling, okay? For almost two months. Agregamos la S porque es plural, okay? I have been sleeping few, few, okay, few hours for weeks due to stress. Porque está estresada, you cannot sleep. Cuando yo estoy estresada es cuando más duermo. <laughs> yes. Um, but es verdad, algunas personas cuando están estresadas no pueden dormir. Okay, have been sleeping a few hours for weeks due to stress. Okay, good job. Muy bien. Okay, good ideas. But, ah, Xiomara, okay. Evelyn, let me see Evelyn. I'm praying in my house these days. Okay, plural. These days, okay. Todos los días. After I'm studying English at the moment, Mm, 
after, como que no encaja ahí, la podemos poner also, también. I'm studying English at the moment. In my work, en mi trabajo, I'm eating at 11 for the moment. Mm, you can say this, this, uh, no, no, no. This month, este mes, por ejemplo, no sé, el otro mes quizás le cambien el horario. And I occasionally, outside having breakfast, I occasionally, ajá, uh -huh, I am, y sería I am occasionally, Having breakfast outside. Esto lo cambiamos al final. Ok. I am occasionally having breakfast outside. Ok. Good job here. Muy bien, Evelyn. Ok. Let me see Karen. No habíamos visto el suyo, Karen. Oh, yes, ya lo habíamos visto. Ok. Ya yeah, pizza. Yes, Griselda too. Okay, let me read Rocio. Okay, my name is Rocio. This day, and these are, uh -huh, and these are some of my activities that I, that I usually do for these days. El coma. Ajá. I am. Sorry. I am. Traveling. ¿Qué le falta el ING? Traveling by car to work. Ajá. Ahí here. Sometimes. A veces. I see, siempre acuérdense que el, el I siempre es mayúscula, ¿ok? I see my cell phone at work for days. Mm. Ok, and, ¿qué hice aquí? Ok. I see my cell phones, my cell phone at work. Por días, le tengo que poner, por días compro mi almuerzo en la cafetería, eso quería poner ahí. Ah, ok, esta es otra idea entonces. Aquí eh, borramos eso porque la vamos a poner al final. I am... Buying my lunch in the cafeteria this days. Esto día. Punto. Ok, aquí eso lo vamos a pasar al final también. I, I am visiting. My father every weekend. Okay. Okay. I am visiting my father every weekend. Okay. So pay attention. Okay. Póngale atención cómo van a utilizar la puntuación. Okay. Comas, puntos, letras capitales. Y cómo vamos a ir a buscándole forma a a las oraciones. Okay, it is really important that you pay attention how you are going to say the idea. ¿Cómo van a escribir la, la idea? Okay, en todo trabajo que si usted eh, eh, adquiere un trabajo donde necesite inglés, tiene que tener una buena escritura, buena lectura, good listening, good speaking. Okay, if you want to to apply for a job where you will use English. Okay, let me see. My name is Aide. Okay, Aide, 
My name is Aide, comma. I am playing. I'm playing with my daughter on the beach. Uh huh. For um, for um, this moment, you can say this moment. Supongamos que está en la playa. Punto. Aha. I am watching series in in Netflix. How do you write Netflix? How do you write Netflix? Ajá. Yo no me acuerdo. <risa> ¿Ya no se acuerda? No, no me acuerdo. Okay. F. Ajá. L. L. Um, X. X. Ajá, en Netflix. Ajá. Ok. I am listening my English classes or my English class every day at 7 p.m. Okay, 7 p.m. Huh. I Often, or I am often checking all the clothes that I make in my machine. Machine, okay. In my machine. Che. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then. I am making more friends to improve, to improve my work. My work. Yes. Also, también, I am yes. making more friends to improve my work. Mm. I am accepting all the rules of the, of the company. company. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Que el nombre de ahí me da error. <laughs> okay, but so that is... Va that con is H. Good. No, mía, no. Okay, good job here. Let me see who else. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Ok, me viste. Creo que ya lo revisé todos. Uh -oh. Ok, Astrid. <coughs> I am Astrid. Coma. I am. Studying. Pay attention, ok. Pongan la atención a la estructura que van a utilizar con present continuous. English, I study English from Monday to, be careful with the spelling. From Monday to Friday, que me pide letra mayúscula, los días, los meses, los, el, ajá, los días, los meses piden letra mayúscula. From 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. At night. And I, eh, siempre va a ser mayúscula, and I also taking medications to treat, tratar, treat my, that's treat, and I'm going, going to treat. 
train basketball or baseball? Basketball or baseball on Wednesday? Are going to play? Okay. From six to uh, from six. Here I'm going to specific from six a.m. to seven thirty. A.M. PM or AM? PM. PM. Mm -hmm. Yes, basketball. No es basketball. Okay, basketball. Uh, how do you spell it? How do you spell how do you spell basketball? Mm -hmm. How do you spell it? Remember that cuando vamos, estamos escribiendo, tenemos que, eh, si nosotros no nos acordamos del spelling, we need to check. Okay, we have a lot of tools that can help us to check. Okay? Basketball. Basketball. Okay. I am helping, helping, I'm helping uh -huh, my aunt, sus tías o su tía, una o, o varias. Varias que cuidamos a mi abuela. Ah, okay, my aunt take care of my grandmother. Okay, si no es necesario utilizar capital letters, letra mayúscula, don't use it, okay? Just make sure, asegúrense de cuándo la van a utilizar. Okay, that is the way that will be your paragraph. That was good. Okay, pay attention. Uh, lo pueden volver a leer, okay? Sandra says, hello, my name is Sandra. I'm still living in San Vicente. Uh -huh, at work. Uh -huh. Aquí creo que ponemos un punto. Quitamos esto, lo ponemos más adelante. Ajá. Ahí en... Ahí en having... Estoy teniendo a meeting on Mondays at work. Estoy teniendo una meeting los, los lunes en mi trabajo. Okay. And I study English. Uh -huh. And I also study computer science on Sundays. Okay. Congratulations. Next month. I will be on vacation. Okay, good job. Okay, very good. I will have also vacation next next month. Okay, cuando termine con ustedes. <laughs> I will have vacations. Okay, good job here. Muy bien. Me gustó. You have good ideas, okay? Just what you need to do is... Uh, Think, pensar, how to write your ideas, okay? Cómo escribir sus ideas. Y eso les va a ayudar mucho. But good job, okay? You are doing a good job. If you practice, you will do it better. Si ustedes practican, lo harán mejor. Traten de escribir, escribir en su casa cuando tengan tiempo. Traten de escribir, okay? Escriban, escriban todo lo que ustedes puedan. Y lo importante es que no se vayan a copiar y pegar las ideas de, de, de Google. Traten de hacerlo en sí de, su, um, de sus ideas, ¿ok? No copien y peguen porque Ay, eso es, no es su inteligencia, sino que es inteligencia artificial. Usted desarrolla su inteligencia, ¿ok? Well, uh, let me continue. So in this case, we're going to have... Uh, no, no, there is no time for role play. That will be on Monday. 
So we're going to work on the section number three, homework 13 and 14. Okay, vamos a trabajar en las tareas. Los que no han terminado. Saben que no me había dado cuenta que ahora le suben la clase aquí. Bueno. La clase se la suben aquí en la plataforma. Por ejemplo, esta que tuvimos ayer ya está aquí. ¿ve? ¿Tienes el video? Oh, sí, sí, ya. De eso sí. Ya más, ya sabía. Yo, yo, okay. Bueno, al menos yo ya lo sabía. Ok. Good. Ok. Uh, tarea 13. 13. Ok. Let me know when you are ready. Ok. Si tienen también preguntas acerca de, 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 de sus párrafos, me dicen, ok. Y los podemos seguir, volver a ver, ¿verdad? Sí, claro. Ok. ¿Listos? Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, Evelyn, tell me number one. What are you do? What are you doing? What are you doing or what you do tomorrow? Está en mute. La tres, ¿cuál es? Number one. What are you doing? What are you doing tomorrow? Okay, number two, Isabel. Where do you work? Where do where do you or where you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Number three. Brenda, when is arriving at the party? When is she arriving at the party? When is she arriving? No sé cómo dice acá, arriving. But it's not good. It's the spelling is it's not good. <laughs> Which one? Arriving. Arriving, right? She is arriving at the party. When is she arriving at the party? Okay. Number four, Sandra. Where? Mm -hmm. Sandra? Uh, are having where are you having the having. cocktails okay good not um, Natalie no Karen no, five what is she doing what is she doing right now okay good Send it and be in. Okay, all of them are good here. Questions about this? Tiene alguna duda? Pregunta? No? Okay, no. we're going to move on to number 14. Robert, number one. Patrick is on holiday in Greece. I'm sure. Uh, he having fun. He is having fun. Okay, good job. Selena, 
Number two. The situation in our country is isn't good. Uh huh. Well, um, losing money, creo. We are mm -hmm, losing money. Okay. Number three, Judith. Number three, Judith. They are of a good discount. I like to go to the computer computer theater today. Huh? They oh. are offering good discounts. Okay. Number four. Xiomara. We are we we are speaking. I speaking. had a we bad are. argument with my friend. Now we are we are not speaking. We aren't speaking to each other. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. We yes, are in yes, yes. Okay, Diana. I have an important English exam at the end of the month. So, I am taking extra lesson. I am taking extra lesson these days. This day. Okay, good job. Good, all of them are okay. So we're going to complete the other and other one, 15. Okay, Evelyn, my neighbor is? Which one? First, second, third? Playing soccer tomorrow. Playing soccer tomorrow, okay. Number two. I am Brenda swimming. Swimming. What is the correct spelling? Swimming. I am swimming right now. Ajá, ¿cuál es el, el spelling correcto? El primero. El primero? The first. El último. O el último. Ah. El último. El último. Tiene doble M. Ajá. Uh -huh. Oh, ok. Ya no miro, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> ok, number three. The, what are you doing? Doing these days. Ok. Number four. People are. Too many trees. Too many trees. Too many trees. Too many trees. And number five, I am. I think my friend tomorrow. What is the correct spelling? Number two. The first one, the second. Second. Seeing my friends tomorrow. Okay, good job, good job here. Okay, now I will check your scores, okay? Please try to complete all of them. I will check your scores right now. Do you have questions, guys? Tienen preguntas? Alguno de ustedes tiene preguntas? Before we go. 
No, no, no questions. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Attendance. To... Okay. Um, teacher, yo me traje un mango. <laughs> la e, no me la llevo la Evelyn que con... <laughs> ok la, la, la agarro la, 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 <laughs> ay thank you so much <laughs> ya me hizo reír ok <laughs> Yes. Ok. Ok. Solo me falta Isabel que complete. Mm, Natalie. Sandra. Judith. Ya casi termina. Y Xiomara y Yanira. Ok. I will, I will be waiting, voy a estar esperando que para que las terminen para agregar sus notas en la plataforma. Ok. okay. Los demás, ¿todo bien? Thank you so much. And see you on Monday. Enjoy tomorrow, ok. Si tienen su papá vivo, vayan a verlo. Me pueden saludar a mí también. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Take care. Yeah. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye.